The Other Two A Story by Jeffrey Don't go outside Joe's mom tells her son just before she goes to the market It rained yesterday The street may be slippery I'll be back soon, okay? Okay Joe answers his mom sweetly But there's something else going on in his head He thinks about Mr. Jonas' dog that always barks loudly when he gives it a bait, about Miss Mary's chicken that always run away, about the tasty slice of bread Old Man Dirty always places outside his window to feed little birds, or about scaring Katie, his cowardly schoolmate. So Joe puts on his shoes, grabs some bread from the refrigerator, and goes outside. Ignoring his mother's warning. There are so many water bottles on the street. But Joe doesn't care. He's ready to do everything in his mind. First, he visits Mr. Jonas. Oh, this dog is going to be very happy with the bread. But when Joe arrives, Mr. Jonas' dog is already barking. And Mr. Jonas is standing at his front door. Looking very angry. What happened, Mr. Jonas? Joe asks. Oh, you! Mr. Jonas points his finger to Joe. If you don't want to give my dog your food, then stop showing it to him. But I haven't done that yet. So now you're lying too? Mr. Jonas looks even angrier. I see you doing the same thing every day. But, look. Joe takes out his bread and tries to show it to Mr. Jonas. Go away! Mr. Jonas goes back to his house and slams the front door. Joe feels confused, but that will not stop him. He still can scare Miss Mary's chicken, right? But, Miss Mary's chicken are already jumping all around their coop. She has to calm them down by throwing a handful of corn. Hi, Miss Mary. What happened? Joe asks. Ugh, you. Stop scaring them, okay? Says Miss Mary. But I haven't done anything yet. Go away, Joe! Please! Miss Mary goes back to her house and locks the door. Joe hasn't done anything. How can everyone think it's him? When he wants to walk away from Miss Mary's house, Mr. Dirty comes down the street with red face, looking as angry as Mr. Jonas. Do you know that what you did is called stealing? Mr. Dirty yells. What happened, Mr. Dirty? Joe asks. My bread! I made it every morning for those little hungry birds. And you always steal it! But I haven't done anything yet. Joe trembles. I have to speak with your mother. But I didn't do anything. Joe tries to convince Mr. Dirty, but he ignores Joe. Joe doesn't understand what is happening. He decides to go home when he sees Katie walking on the street with a bag of apples. Well. At least he still has Katie to scare. When he's about to go hiding inside the bush, somebody is already there. That person looks like him and wears the same clothes as him. Hey! Joe calls him. That person jumps in shock, then smiles when he looks at Joe. Hi, Joe! He says. I'm Joe. What? I'm Joe. You're not. The other Joe points to a water bottle. Joe walks to it and looks down. But his reflection is not there. How can... Joe stops because suddenly the other Joe pushes him. Joe falls to the water bottle. When he gets up just before air, he sees the other Joe scaring Katie that her apples fall all over the street. Hey, stop! Joe chases the other Joe, but Katie is crying now.
Sorry, that wasn't me. <laughs> you lied, Joe. <laughs> Kitty sobs. Why do you always scare me? But that was really not me. I don't care. <laughs> no wonder everyone is mad at you. Katie picks up her last apple and runs away. Joe knows what he should do. His mother can always help him. When he is running home, he trips over someone's foot and he falls to the street so hard. When he looks back, the other Joe is standing there. Why are you doing this to me? You're hurting me. Joe asks tearfully. Oh, isn't it fun? Come on, we always do this to everyone, as long as we are happy. But everyone is mad. Joe then realizes something. So, it's you who did all those things to everyone? It's us! The other Joe laughs out loud. Joe has to stop him. He has to. He then gets a brilliant idea. Behind the other Joe is a puddle of water. Joe then gets up and pushes him to it. The other Joe screams, falls into it, and he is gone. Joe walks slowly to check his reflection. It is there now. Then he runs home. Mom! Joe rushes inside his house. Joe! His mother's voice sounds so angry. I think I told you that. Joe doesn't care. He hugs his mother. I will be a good boy. I promise you. I'm sorry for everything. Tomorrow, I'll apologize to Mr. Jonas and Miss Mary and Katie and I'll help Mr. Dirty with the birds. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mr. Turdy did come to me before, Joe's mother says. But I'm glad you realize that everything you do is not good, Joe. You have to fix it, okay? Since that day, Joe is known as the helpful Joe. Spellbound is brought to you with love by Petra Little Theater, English for Creative Industry Program, Petra Christian University.